Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Today I'm looking at the Industry Expanded mod. In case you've grown a little bored with the base game and the base resources, then this mod can spice things up. You have a whole bunch of new resources and new industries that you can connect. Now I'm running in this case both the Industry Expanded and the Industry Expanded Add-on mod, which adds even more resources. And this facility over here, the food processing plant, is just one of the things that gets added by the mod. Normally, when you want to make food, you go to one of these, the food processing plant. You deliver a bit of grain, or rather two bits of grain, you get one bit of food. Done. Ship it to a town, and you're making a profit. That's fairly easy. If you want to go for something a little bit more elaborate, you can use one of the food processing plants that gets added by the industry expanded mod. This food processing plant accepts three different resources. You can ship meat, you can ship coffee beans, or you can ship alcohol. And you get two bits of food produced, not just the one. So what happens over here is I can ship meat. Now what I have to make meat is either, in this meat processing plant, I can either bring livestock over or two bits of fish. Fish gets produced in fisheries and the livestock, let me see if I can find one, um, they get, yeah, here, livestock farm. You don't just produce livestock out of the blue. You need to make sure that they get grain. Otherwise, there is no livestock being produced. And then you ship the, uh, in this case, the livestock all the way over to this meat processing plant. You get meat and you ship that all the way over here to the food processing plant. And then from the food processing plant, you can get two bits of food and you ship that to any town that needs it. The alternative is the coffee beans, and the coffee beans is the production means that I currently have selected. It starts over here at the coffee farm, where coffee berries are produced. And the coffee berries are then transported along this uh, long winding road all the way over here, which is the coffee refinery, which takes two berries and turns it into one coffee, or one coffee bean rather. And then the coffee beans get delivered to the food processing plant, which again turn it into a bit of food. Now this is where the mod gets interesting, because this is where the add-on comes in. The add-on adds mail and waste products. Now what happens if I uh, produce food is that it gets delivered to this town over here. This town now wants to get food and is getting almost 60% uh, or rather almost 70% of its needs met. When it does that, it produces something. And this is very unusual, because towns generally don't produce anything, well, but passengers, if you will. But these ones do. So if I go to the overview for the cargo layer, you can see that some of these residential buildings, they need mail, and they produce unsorted mail. So by getting passengers from one town to the next, you can get unsorted mail. You can also have the unsorted mail being produced by the commercial buildings which, if they get their needs met, they will produce unsorted mail. My unsorted mail then gets delivered to this truck stop over here. And this truck stop slowly fills up. And then once every, uh, well, every couple of months, considering I only have one truck running, I take it all the way over here to the Soost Mail Sorting Center, where if I deliver one bit of unsorted mail, I'm going to get that transmitted into mail. And I take the mail, as you can see over here, there's some waiting over there. I take that all the way back to the town, and I actually fulfill another demand. And this is something I really find very interesting about the add-on for the Industry Expanded mod, because it's not just shipping in the standard resources through a different means, through, for example, the food processing plant, but it's also generating mail, which you can then tie into all other sorts of things. Now, this is by far not the only thing that gets added by this production mod. The uh, Industry Expanded mod also generates a different way of getting goods. Normally, the goods go from the goods factory to a town. You produce plastic, you produce steel, you get goods. Very, very basic, very vanilla. What you also have as an option is this one. This is a different way of producing goods, and you actually have so many different ways of producing goods now that it does not even fit the screen anymore. The goods thing should be over here. What you need to deliver is plastic or planks. Basically, what I do, or sorry, um, no, it's a different combination. Plastic and planks 
or plastic and paper. Now paper is new. Paper is another resource and paper is produced fairly simply by just delivering logs to a paper mill. Keep in mind ratio of 2 to 1. 2 logs, 1 paper. Alternatively you bring in plastic and silver bars. Now silver bars are again something new. They're produced in the silver mill and the silver mill, in order to make actual silver, will require the silver ore. Which, again, will open up another potential profitable route. Uh, in this case, I wouldn't really recommend it, because this seems to be the closest uh, silver ore. So, I ship silver ore to the silver ore, sorry, to the silver mill. And then, I ship the silver along with another resource, in this case plastic, all the way to the goods factory, and I produce goods. This is just another way to make goods. Next, we have different ways of making construction materials. Construction materials, usually pretty straightforward. Deliver stone, get construction materials, ship it to a town. Straightforward. But now you also have another way of doing it. Let me find a facility where I can highlight that. This one. There are a couple of different ways you can go about this. The important part is you get two construction materials out of it, not just one. This one requires the uh, slag. Now, where the hell do you get slag? Well, you get that from a steel mill. Just not the standard steel mills. You're going to have to go to a, yes, a different steel mill, which, again, gets added by the mod. Uh, let's see, where are my steel mills? Here. This is one of the different steel mills. It still has the same requirements. Two iron ore, two coal, and it produces steel, but it also produces slag as a sort of waste product. And you can uh, send the slag back to a construction plant, provided it's the right type. And from that, you can immediately produce additional construction materials. So you could build a transport line that focuses on building steel. And as a sort of side effect, and if it's not too far away, you could also be making construction materials from that. Alternatively, you can get sand. Sand, again, is not something that you just dig up. It is a byproduct slash waste product of a different production facility. Let me see if I can find it. Here. A fuel refinery of a different kind. The fuel refinery of this type requires oil sand and produces fuel and sand. This is a faster way of making fuel because oil sand is just a base resource. But keep in mind, it is two to one, or rather two to one and one, because you also get sand out of it. Now, in this case, I want to find one that produces sand, or oil sand, rather, and that is over here. This is an oil sand mine. So right over here, I have a pretty profitable opportunity to ship oil sand from there to here, and then fuel from here to... Uh, well, a town that needs it, which happens to be over here, I think. That might be the closest one. And this one over here on the far right. So that is a different way of going about making your construction materials, because that's what I was looking at. The construction materials can also be made from sand. You also have marble, and keep in mind it's a combination of marble and stone. Marble can be found in a marble mine, does not need refining. So you ship stone and you ship marble and then you get two construction materials instead of just the one. So that could speed up your production and uh, make sure that one of these plants potentially supplies a whole region. Maybe even the whole map if you don't have too many requirements. Now, um, something else that gets added by the add-on mod is that it, uh, and I don't have it right now because I'm not actually satisfying the uh, construction materials need here. If you satisfy the industrial buildings requirements, and in this case they mostly require construction materials, you get waste. Now this is not something that you need to transport to uh, a big uh, waste bin or um, a big uh, landfill or something. No, you can recycle that. And this, again, gets added by the additional mod, the add-on. If you have waste, let me see if I can find one because I have such a long list of stuff. If you produce waste, you can then turn that back into steel, which is a really nice way to get rid of some of the production, or well, rather the excess production, 
from towns. So let's say that um, in this town, I ship the required construction materials. The town then starts producing waste, and with two waste, I can produce one steel, which I can then fill once again into another factory. And with that factory, I might be able to produce, for example, over here, if it provided also with some silver bars, I can produce machines, which I can then immediately drop off over here in the town of Goes. So you get all sorts of different combinations and different opportunities to make additional money. Now, I know that I talked about a lot about the different ways that these things can interact. Um, there is a very easy overview on the mod page. It's the Steam Workshop mod page, and the guy has a couple of screenshots which say you need to tie this factory into that, and that one into that one, and then you get this final resource. That is something that I'm going to be linking down below in the description, and um, I would recommend that you use both. That you use Industry Expanded and its add-on. Now there is one more thing that I need to highlight about this mod, and that is that it opens up this button, which is industry. You can now place these facilities, but they are fairly balanced. Because if I wanted to place one forest down, it's gonna cost me 40 million. If I want to place down, let's say maybe a higher tier production item, uh, it's gonna cost, me, oh, sorry, this is lower tier, it's gonna cost me 15 million for a goods factory, uh, 15 million for an alcohol distillery, Let's see if these are more expensive. Now, about 20 million. No, it's the base resource, which would seem to be the most expensive. Silver ore, oil sand is also 40 million. Paper mill, second tier, is 20 million. Uh, coffee beans are probably 15, and then the coffee base is 25, the coffee berries, the coffee farm. You can also set what type of production level they should be on. If it's a base resource, you cannot upgrade it, but if it's one of the higher tier resources, then you can. Keep in mind, that will probably make it a lot more expensive. The base one is 15 million, the tier four one is 30 million. Now, especially early game, this would be fairly in or fairly unaffordable, uh, although I started in 2000s and I have 41 million and I can still loan another 50. So sure enough, you could build one of these and very quickly get a production way that potentially is just self-fulfilling and that earns itself back very quickly. So you can add these additional facilities um, and I believe this also works on a game that you might have already started but I haven't tested that yet so don't take my word on that. In case you're wondering how do you ship all these new resources? Well the base vehicles have been adjusted. I'm looking at the tarpaulins over here. The tarpaulins of course can transport anything but if you look at this one, the 40 ton truck with side stakes, they can now transport logs, but also marble and oil sand and silver bars. The dump trucks can now carry almost, or sorry, the flatbeds, this is a dump truck. These can carry almost anything as long as it's in bulk. They also transport sand and waste and slag and silver ore. And uh, which one did I have? The flatbed. Flatbed also transports mail and waste and, well, almost every resource. Just no liquids. That's not something that this thing can handle. So all of these things are handled by the existing vehicles. I'm not sure how modded vehicles tie into this. I'm not sure if this works. So that's something you'll have to test yourself because I cannot possibly test it for all the different vehicle mods which are out there. Anyway, long story short, if you've gotten a little bored with the vanilla resources and want to spice things up a little bit, then go for this mod, Industry Expanded. Link below in the description. For me, I'll probably be using this in a future playthrough. Um, I have some ideas for another playthrough. And in that one, I want just more diversity, more than the basic resources, because... After a couple dozen episodes, I have seen all the basic resources and I want to see something else. I want to build some other facilities or some other production chains. And this mod allows you to do just that. Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. I look forward to seeing what you guys uh, think of this mod. And of course, link down below in the description to the mod that you can find right there. Industry Expanded and its add-on. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have fun with it, have fun with Transport Fever, and I'll catch you soon for another video.